All right, today we're going to uh, see how to install a plugin. And I went to plugins and I typed in Easy Photo Album and then I searched. And this is what came up. Uh, you see there's three pages, 87 different photo albums we can install. Uh, the ones that you want to install, the ones that have a lot of reviews, this one has 12 and has lots of downloads. Usually that means that um, it works best. Um, if you have one like this one here, it's got 189, but no one even bothered uh, doing it. Probably not as good. So let's go ahead and install the Easy Photo Album and see how all this works. And yes, we know what we're doing. So now it's going to go ahead and install that. Um, we're going to have to put some photos up in our uh, media area in order to use this photo album. So I also have some photos I'm going to go ahead and update. So we're going to go ahead and activate the plugin now. And I'm going to provide those uh, photos um, in a zip file on the website for you. Uh, but this is what it's going to look like. Let's see. Call tennis. And in there are these files and I'm just gonna put up these five uh, this other one was banners all right so here we go it has been um, all done so the first thing we have to do is go into our media section and upload our files All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, press the Add New button. And then we're going to select the files that we want to use. And that is going to be in our, in our tennis folder. And I'm going to do uh, family, fundraiser, girl, kid, and people. And then click Open. I mentioned those other ones were ones that we could use for banners if we wished. I will right, we'll go ahead and wait for them to show up. All right, so um, all the um, images got uploaded. I clicked on the first one, and now I have to do the title and caption. So I'm just going to copy and paste each of these there you go and then this up here signifies it's being saved uh, it's automatically saved and then I want you to go through and you're gonna have to do each one of these so there's the girl there's the fundraiser and there's the family and those are the, the pictures that we just did but you have to have this information in there before we start messing with our photo album all right, now that we finished all that, I'm going to here. So once you upload them, just click on the first one and start filling in the rest of the information. Now that they're all there, I can go ahead and go to photo album and create a photo album. Once I get there, then I'll go ahead and click on the new button and create a new photo album. There we go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add a new one. Again, it's slow, slow, slow. And it's going to allow me to add pictures in from the photo album. And then it's going to, uh, once we have finished that, then we'll go ahead and uh, finish, save the album, and then go ahead and create a page with these pictures on it. And you can see how easy it is to implement this. Uh, in fact, we can create several photo albums from different media libraries that we have. So I'm just going to call this uh, photo photos. All right. And I'm going to get rid of this on the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the photos. Again, I could have uploaded it, upload the files, but my uh, 
experience where WordPress is uploading the files directly into an application rather than you through your media library uh, is going to cause you nothing but trouble. So I want, let's see, this, 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 this. Hold down the control key as you click and that will select more. All right, so we have five pictures now that we're going to be using. They all have check marks. I held down the control key as I clicked and that's what selected all of them. I'll select these images and there they are. Now each of these have, whoa, where'd the captions go? Well, the captions didn't come in for some un unknown reason, so I'm gonna have to type them in here. Terrible. Um, our female pro child learning tennis. I don't know if it was my fault or what, but I'm not sure why. Okay, come on. Show why there's only three. Why I can't move down. Now let's go ahead and publish what we got. That looks like we've locked up here. It took a little bit, but uh, my pictures have finally come in with my captions. I have five photos, and I can search through them here. Of course, now it's not doing it. There we go. And there are my pictures. Um, this one's missing a caption. Uh, our female tennis pro. And I'll do our final update. Okay, once I create the uh, photo album and it gets done saving, uh, I'll be able to go ahead then and create a page and then use that photo, incorporate that photo album into the page. So if I wanted to, I can make several photo albums and then incorporate them on several pages. So this is a plugin that can be used over and over again, depending on which, uh, how many photos I want to use. Um, and that's, um, that's some pretty good flexibility that you have with this. So when this gets done, we'll go ahead and create a page. All right, it's all saved, so now we'll go ahead and uh, create a page. So we'll go to Pages, and then go ahead and add a new one. All right, we'll go ahead and create a new page, and that page will be Photo Album, and then we'll go ahead and put our photo album into it. WordPress is really running slow today. I have to keep pausing in order for it to wait for it to cook, but at least it's it is cooking. There we go. Okay, so I'll call this. I'll just call this photos. And these are some photos of our center. Okay, write that to bold. Okay, now press enter. And then we have over here, insert a photo album. So this is a, in the visual section. We have a um, extra button now. And I click on the button. And it'll go ahead and search for the photo albums that we have put in there. Okay. Tried tennis. Let's uh, show the title. And let's show the full part of that. And then insert. All right, so that's the tag I put in there to um, pull it from our photo albums.
and then we'll go ahead and publish it and then we'll view the page now what this has done is it'll actually add photos as our main menu item because remember when we created the menu we said anytime a new page is created uh, to go ahead and put that on the main menu alright so it's been done now let's go to view site and hopefully the uh, photo album has been added to our menu and then we'll go ahead and see yay there's our photos and then it'll go ahead and load our and there it is so this is the full one so it shows each one of the um, pictures if I had done excerpt it would have just shown uh, a couple of the of the photos and then we would have um, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and edit the page All right, and then we should be able to get rid of what we have and then add. Uh, that's probably the easiest thing. I'm not sure what keyword. Probably excerpt, but if not. All right, so when it finally pops up on the page, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. And then I'll go ahead and add a new one. This time I'll use, I'll use uh, show title and I'll show an excerpt rather than the full one. And that's a keyword. I could have just changed that, but now we know. And I'll go ahead and update it. And then we'll see the difference between the excerpt one and the full one. Okay, as soon as it gets done cooking. All right, it looks like it's getting close. Once it does, then we'll go ahead and view page, and we will be done. Okay, so it finished. I went ahead and did view site, and I'll click on photos, and we'll see how this has changed from the last time we looked at it. There you go. So only three show up, and then when I click on more photos, it will show the rest of them. And again, this is free hosting is very slow with WordPress. Not very impressive. That's why you want to have yourself on a paid host. All right, that's it.